pretty dark Kundalini citrine. Um, not very large specimen, yet good length. Must be uh, uh, almost two inches, if not two inches, from bottom to top. I enjoy the stem on this one. Little stem and then the contrasting lovely gem point on the top. Uh, seems to be a little bit of phantoming in this guy. If we have a close look inside, you'll see there's, there's almost little ghosts living in this crystal. And of course, what we have here is when you move it around like this, you see this lovely little rainbow inside the crystal. Gives it an extra, extra dimension of, of uh, uh, brightness. So it's, it's not a dull piece at all. It's a very, very bright little specimen. And let's give it a few turns. Turn it over like this. Uh, a crystal, a crystal is pretty much in good condition. Often we have uh, a contact on these Kundalini citrines because they've been handled rather roughly um, in many cases. Uh, they get transported across African borders, and uh, while well, my my supplier tells me that often he, he shares the uh, with uh, a scrap metal. So what happens? Uh, the, the the stones get packed in boxes, most likely in newspaper, and then they get uh, put on this truck because it wouldn't be economically viable just to send a truck just for citrines. And then they get mixed with other things, and often uh, uh, people f put things on top of the boxes with the with the lovely citrines. All the way from Zambia, uh, Kundalini citrine.